I'm going to say the nicest beach I've ever been to. Welcome to Hiraketia, one beautiful beach and an absolute surface paradise. You've got the jungle backdrop just behind them on the camera and yeah, ruthless, ruthless cove, waves coming in the distance. We landed here yesterday from Ella, three hour taxi journey and it was literally noticeably hotter. As soon as you get out of the taxi, it was the same as when you get off an airplane and that heat hits you, so something to beware of. We had a nice little chilled afternoon, little iced coffee, free banana cake and then we went down to Turtle Point and got a nice little banana milkshake as always. You're going to be here for about three, four days going to be taking you through all the best places to eat drink best places to chill on the beach the best places to surf as well we had a little lesson this morning which i'll take you through very very shortly and of course the best spot to see turtles as always your boys on route to a thousand subscribers do me a favor and do yourself a favor hit the button down below without further ado baby let's get cooking so hiraketia beach the things you need to know one it's just a beautiful setup. You've got all the jungle and the trees, the palm trees, and then yeah, obviously a little alcove number with everyone surfing in the middle. I'm gonna say the nicest beach I've ever been to. If you want a nice little sunset spot for dinner, right in the middle of the frame now, I'll, I'll overlay again what this is, and then a little bit later, I'm gonna put a, a clip of like the actual food we got there. But yeah, that's super good, and actually the only place we've seen that does take card. And then just to the right of it, behind these trees now, um, is a place called Malu, uh, where we got a ridiculous kind of uh, big bowl for breakfast, or I guess a brunch type option um, but that's very much like a I'd say something you get in like London or I guess on the beach in like Australia or Bali something like that but the food there was banging we got a cold brew and a little turmeric um, sort of shot as well but yeah that was insane probably the best food we've had so far um, and yeah in terms of dropping surfing options beginner level um, I think is probably what you would be looking at here there's so much opportunity if you want to sort of like haggle down prices do private lessons like me and M did or you can do like a, as part of a big group as well um, I'm on the far right side of the beach now if you want to walk all the way down the beach down here all the way to the opposite side I'd say it's between five and ten minutes it's super super easy to get to um, and you get to a point right at the end called turtle turtle point apparently they do have a few turtles knocking about there at times so you can snorkel in that bit uh, me and I'm chilled there had a little banana milkshake um, yeah yesterday afternoon but yeah really really flare spot silly silly beach and then if you want a sun lounger which is what me and M did for the whole day we got here at 8 a.m sun loungers at most places are free i'll overlay now where me and emma sat but yeah six spot right in the middle of the beach it's free to sit there you just have to spend three thousand during the during that I mean, your entire stay uh, which is literally about eight pounds it's 350 for a bottle of coke 350 for a king coconut and 350 for a bottle of water so super super cheap you can have about eight or nine of them uh, in a free sun lounger all day or if you do want a little beer wari it is a thousand but yeah just drink this in it's just an absolute ruthless ruthless view recommendation number one from the team Muthu flare little like tiki cocktail bar right on the right hand side of the beach um, if you're looking into the sea and um, get a close up on the food I've gone for some mad mixed bowl chicken chickpeas cauliflower all sorts of goodness in there thought we'd go for a little bit of a dish M's obviously stuck to what she knows on a little chicken and rice number keeping it lean in 15 what is the best time of day? There's only one answer, it's golden hour. They've got a flare little happy hour here and you can sit up on the top like veranda looking at all the surface behind. So would highly, highly recommend. Hopefully the food's good. I'm not gonna eat on camera again, otherwise the clip gets on too long, but we're gonna dig in, looks banging, and I've got a milkshake coming as well. We'll overlay that now because it's a milkshake a day. You already know, keeps the doctor away. Surfing, Hiraketia Beach. What's the review, Em? Absolutely loved it, I'm a surfer girl now. Yeah, basically, we, we rocked up on the way down. Obviously, I was giving it the big and being like, oh, it's a sport, I'm probably going to be good. Absolutely smash it. The king has well and truly embarrassed me. The first run she did, well, first run I did, I've, I've made it about half a metre, legs over my head, I'm in the water, seawater down the throat, and straight to the shoreline. She absolutely smashed it. I mean, there's only one time or two times where you actually fell yeah, in. Yeah. yeah. So it's good. So yeah, the beach here in the morning, what time did we get here? Well, we did 8, 8, 8 a.m. till 9.30. Um, again, if you, we did a beginner's lesson. We, we've never done it before. Obviously, you can just rent a board and go out by yourself. We paid, well, the, the only, the, the guy that we did it with was really, really good, weren't he? Like, he did, good. did a 15, like, induction of how to get on the board on the shore and stuff, all that safety shit, and then took us out to the water. He was really good. The only, like, I'm not even gonna say negative, I just say just confirm the price. He gave us a price and we went to pay. It was like, oh no, that's each. 
again, not the end of the world, but something to clarify, especially if you're on a little bit of a budget. But yeah, you surf a gal now? Yeah. Yeah. Like M's, M's buying a board. Apparently we're going on a surfing holiday, so that's going to be me getting embarrassed for the next 30 years. Yeah. Balance, squats, <laughs> place to all M strengths. But yeah, would highly recommend. Word from the surfer girl? <laughs> going to be sponsored by Quicksilver very, very shortly. <laughs> So we're staying here at Mount Top for three nights and we change rooms after after two because obviously we couldn't get this room for the, the other two nights. Um, starting off, we have a little family room. So me and Em back to being roommates, but uh, two massive beds. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, aircon, fan, all that good stuff. A little balcony outside as well. So a place like chill, paying £25 a night in this one because obviously enough for four people. And then we move into one well, a lot cheaper actually. In a couple more nights, Emma King, again, does not come with the room, unfortunately. But yeah, check check out how spicy the... <laughs> this is in here. So yeah, outrageous scenes. Again, £25 a night, huge room. Could do four people. Things you love to see, baby. Moving day today, moving for our massive double, double room. One step to the left. Big massive bed, £11 between both of us to stay near, so £5.50 each. Cannot complain, however, um, we've just figured out there's no aircon in here. <laughs> this will do the job though. Big bathroom, obviously spiciness as always in here. The guy that runs this is super, super nice. Only one shower head, the other one had two linked up together, which is uh, <laughs> pretty good for showering. And then yeah, it does come with a balcony, so we will take this and also does class to sea view. I mean, £5.50 a night, giving them away. The guy's the nicest bloke here. Literally couldn't recommend it enough. Pleasure. Team did a little outing to Dick Weller today, um, to Turtle Point and through the centre itself. Paid 800 rupees um, in a tuk-tuk to take us all the way to Turtle Point. Oh, it's about a 20 minute walk, but I hurt my ankle. So trying to negate as much walking um, as, as possible. In terms of the beach itself, <clears throat> excuse me, Hiraketi Beach is night and day better than it. So if you're only looking to stay for a couple of days or you want the best beach, just stay in Hiraketia because it is 10 times nicer. The sand's obviously not as nice there. The water itself is all cloudy. Uh, and there's loads of like kind of rock rockery and stuff like that as well. So there's less space, I would say, and nowhere near as nice a beach. Um, if you want to go to Turtle Point, obviously it does what it says on the tin. You want to see some turtles, then yeah, obviously that's the place to do it. Huge turtles in the water. You just buy, borrow a snorkel, uh, 500 rupees, get in the mixer, see some fish, see some marine life, and then get yourself back over to Hiraketia and then Dick Weller the, the centre is do you know what I mean it's really weird because like where our hotel is five minutes one way is Hiraketia Beach super touristy um, and then five minutes the other way to Dick Weller is obviously where all the locals are um, and yeah it's just an active place you kind of go from being in like a, a beach resort type thing at Hiraketia to being in the busiest lo local town road and obviously there's no, no kind of pavements in, uh, in Sri Lanka so it is absolute carnage walking about there and you've obviously got the northerner and the ginger so we're sticking out like absolute sore thumbs um so yeah if you want to see turtles that's where to go if you're looking for what beach i should go to just stay in hiraketi beach it is 10 times better cheers now the best food spot that we've been to in sri lanka and before anyone starts crying it's not sri lanka food we've had unbelievable sri lankan food as you've probably seen through this vlog and other ones as well however hula right on the beach in hiraketia different gravy right we've been there for the last five meals that's how much of a joke it is you go for breakfast lunch dinner it's all like bowls like poke type bowl type things breakfast we're talking like egg numbers in there avocado you can have chicken as well straight banging they do cold brew coffee on tap they also have banging cappuccino huge massive creamy ones like the biggest coffees you have ever seen um, and then they also do these naughty little juices like the uh, the pineapple and ginger one it's been my kind of fan favorite and em's been on the watermelon both straight bangers, so, so good, so refreshing, and, and a lot cheaper, those. These, those were 700 um, rupees each, so probably about £1.60, um, and a coffee's about eight 900 to, to give you some context. And then, yeah, you can do different sort of bowls in the morning. They're like the breakfast ones, they do like the little, is it acai or acai? Let me know in the comments, don't know you're gonna tell me to pronounce something. However, we digress from the point, the little smoothie bowls, next level, like Instagram level, like, arrangement all the goodies in there i had to avoid them because they did have a lot of nuts and peanut butter but um 
yeah, she sampled one of those. Silly presentation, silly, silly good. If anything, like this, the portions are massive as well. Like I'm super full by the end of it and then obviously delve into whatever, <laughs> whatever M leaves um, yeah, on the, on the back end of hers. And then for dinner, there's loads we've, we've tried, but I think the best one is the chicken katsu one. You get insane amounts of the chicken. Um, and then obviously underneath that, we've been going for watermelon, pineapple, um, like this little pickled uh, Japanese cabbage. It's a straight 10 out of 10. The staff are unbelievably friendly, super, super nice. Um, and literally laugh at us every time we, uh, we go back for every single meal that we've had. But yeah, nice little CV behind, £5.50 a room here. It's an absolute joke. Get yourself to Sri Lanka, baby. So let's sum things up. Should you come to Hiraketia Beach? Absolutely phenomenal views, as you can see behind me. If you stay in the accommodation we stayed at at Mountain Top, I would personally go for the more expensive one with aircon. The other one has a better view and a, a sea view, but the Ginger and the Northerner, we were absolutely cooking within that room. Two main highlights of things to do. One, do a surf lesson. It's kind of the main thing to do here. Very, very chilled, surf for life. And also hula for the food. Insane bowls, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We've done five meals there on the bind. It was absolutely unbelievable. Really friendly staff. The food's banging, lean in 15, all the things you want. As always, your boy is still en route to 1,000 subs. Do me a favor, hit the button down below. And remember, baby, the chef is always cooking. Let's get it.